We are Barca. We have to win. We cannot accept defeats or draws. You cannot just win 1-0 in the last minute. You have to be convincing. We'll press high, dominate, play through the ball, create more chances than the rival. This is the Barca DNA. Oh, okay. uh, he continues, I'm going to demand a lot from my players. I know where I should press them and the weak points they may have. Coach well, Dembele can be one of the best in the world in his position. Got to get him fit first, that's uh -huh. the problem. Mm -hmm. uh, Laporta, here we go. This is the day which will go down in Barcelona history. Uh, it really is ticking every single Barca TV box if you're <laughs> channeling, if you're making this announcement. Ian, you've seen Barca a lot. You've commentated them this season. And it's interesting, that quote from Xavi in particular was saying, we will press high, dominate, play through mm -hmm. the ball, create more chances than the rival, which is great to say, but have yes. they got the personnel to be able to do that? At the moment, they definitely haven't, and they don't have the money to change it that easily. So Xavi is going to have to arrive, I think, with a, a magic wand. There probably will be a honeymoon effect from him, but there's a lot that needs to be put right. And you saw it again at the weekend, 3-0 up, and they draw 3-3. In the Classico, they just look punchless, really, for most yeah. of the game. Lots of possession, but no real penetration. So he's got a very big job on his hand. I know Pep Guardiola went in there with no experience, really, as a, a coach at the top, top level. Um, Xavi hasn't got a Messi, has he? Hasn't he? He hasn't got, he, well, he hasn't got himself. He hasn't got an Iniesta. So it's a huge job. He's talking the talk, Ali. Well, I just feel like, hey, we just calm down a little bit. These are quite big statements uh, that you're making, mm -hmm. considering the team have been absolutely dreadful. Unnecessarily big statements. One of the good things about Xavi coming right now to Barcelona is that the bar is very low. Yeah. Very low. Any sort of sustained success will be victory for Xavi and Barcelona and John Laporta. And here you go. You first press conference and you say, remember this bar that was very low? We're going to put it up here. And guess what? It is a trap that you're setting for yourself in when you're over-promising and potentially under-delivering. And it may not be a reflection of Xavi as it is a reflection of what's available to him. But when he says that Usmane Dembele can be one of the best players in the world, then, okay, you're losing me. Because guess what? You cannot get him on the field to play to prove that he can be one of the best players in the field, in the world. When you say that Barcelona is going to press mm -hmm. the DNA, we're going to win the ball back, we're going to create chances, and I look behind me and I see, oh, it's Busquets coming that's going to press over here? Is this the guy who's going to pressure? Is the pie the one that's going to pressure? Is this how we're going to regain possession of the ball? Who else is going to pressure? How is it that we're going to regain possession? And when we regain possession, who is it that is going to provide those passes? Oh, and by the way, quick question. I'm just, I'm just wondering. Who's going to finish the chances? Who is that guy? Where is he coming from? Who's going to provide that final touch? There's so many questions to Barcelona. And Xavi, while he is trying to create this sort of positive environment and he's going to demand a lot from his players and they're going to work and potentially work harder, apparently to, which is surprising, by the way, that at Barcelona, one of the things that you promise is that your team is going to work harder. Sure. Huh? You, you talk about the most basic thing that you would think you would get out of a top club around the world, to work hard. Well, he's going to make him work harder. Well, thank you, Xavi. I appreciate that. When the other team goes in transition, who's going to mark up? Clement Lenglet? Is he, is he going to be the answer? Is it Mingueza, who's still trying to chase Vinicius Jr.? Those are the players you have available. I'm not making this up. It's so, Xavi, I'm sorry, buddy. But have you seen your team play? Is, There's a lot of questions. It's all very negative, Shaq. It's all very <laughs> negative. Xavi is back. He's going to lift the spirit. It's a, it's a day that'll go down in Barcelona history. There you go. Dad, I don't nice. know why all the panic. Listen, he's, he said what the fans want to hear mm -hmm. now. You'll be judged on, on, on your body of work going forward. I, I don't read, I certainly don't read as much as Ali it. I just think that this is <laughs> one of the things that every single manager says coming into every single big club who are going through. <laughs> hey, I'm not reading into it. He said it. I, mean, <laughs> I didn't just, say it. I, I think that gig at Barca TV is definitely off. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> what? I think you're done. That life in what? Barcelona is off. Out. <laughs> done. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.